What is up guys? It is another day. I'm actually going to go over the push button start that we did on the FC. So uh, I'm also going to try to change out my start button with this little green arcade button because that's pretty tight. So let's get cranking on that. So we've got both our wires that ran to the start button here. <clears throat> I'm just going to hook them up to the new one and we're going to see if that starts it and if it does change the connectors to spade connectors and uh, then I'll drill out the hole for the panel for this big guy to go in. That was really hard to film, but she starts on that switch, so we will turn her off. I'll drill out that hole and we'll put the new switch in. So it should be a good day. And jams wad. So we are back from O'Reilly's. I picked up some new wiper blades for the S2K. These arms were rusty and just gross looking, so I knocked all the surface rust off of them, sanded them down, and spraying them black again. I feel like in every video I bitch about wiring, but wiring sucks, just so you guys know. Alright, let's see if this worked. I'm just gonna turn the motor over. I don't need fuel. That works. So now I gotta drill out the hole for our switch. And we are good to go. So I need a drill and then my trusty step bit that I love so much. All right, so for this switch, I think we have to go to like, it's like an inch or something. So we've got to step it. That did it, boys. We're good to go. All right, I gotta clean this mess up, but let me show you guys why I'm retarded. Yeah, I decided to drill this in the car, and now there's metal everywhere. But we got a vacuum, and we'll get it up. Our new arcade start button is in, and I am super pumped about this thing. I'll just spin the car over, I'm not even going to turn fuel on. So, it spins it, which I'm really pumped about. Tomorrow. What's up, guys? It is another crappy day and the south we got rain it's cold again not happy about that not sure why but it is what it is so in today's video you guys saw me do the arcade button earlier in the video so now we're just going to go back i'm going to add some labels to the switch panel we're going to talk about the wiring of the push start and I'm going to attempt to explain it the best I can. Now, Richmond did that, so I'll have to find time when he's free, and then we'll like really sit down and really do like a how-to video on it. But I can kind of speak to it for you guys, so you guys aren't like totally in the dark. And I know a lot of people have been wanting FC content, so we're back to FC content. I always forget how hard getting in this car is. But we've got our label maker possibly fired up okay nope that's not turning on all right let me figure out what's up with the label maker oh it's four batteries not two that's the problem and i can't reach damn it i gotta get out of the car there we go we're working. You guys can't see that, but the little maker works again. So I know in pretty much every video I essentially show you guys how to steal my car, so uh, please don't do that. But yeah, so we're going to just go ahead and make labels. I already know what everything is, but it's good to know for like my friends who drive it and who will race it. 
they don't know exactly what all the buttons do, they'll be able to figure it out. So we're going to go ahead and throw some labels on there. We'll also make it look a little bit more race car. So I'm playing with the settings on the label maker. We've done, that's a large one, just like normal font. And I did small, and that's bold. I think I'm just going to do large, bold. Alright, we've got all of our labels made, and time to slap them on here. Our labels are made, we've got player one, ignition, fuel, fan, lights. We are good to go. On to talking about the push start system. So, why we did this was my ignition switch quit turning my car off, so that's a problem. So. What I ended up doing was I originally just pulled the um, ignition switch from the lock cylinder and then I would just crank it with a screwdriver and then I would shut it off with the fuel pump. That worked for a while. I think that happened last September. So I had that for like the hill climb and all that and that worked great. And then a few, maybe a month ago, the ignition switch, we broke the plastic piece that I was using to insert the screwdriver with and crank it that way. That broke, so couldn't do that. Then I used a pair of dykes, actually this pair right here. And then that broke more of the plastic off. So we were then resorted to push starting the car, which we had in one of the videos from a meet a while back. So we were push starting it. And that, that's not feasible either. So Richmond, one of my buddies, has been working on doing a push start system for like a plug and play push start system for the Miatas. So I called him, I'm like, hey, this is what's up with the FC. We need to get a push start button in it. How, how hard, how easy can we do that? So we were chatting and theoretically it really isn't hard. Um, we just added relays to replace the um, positions on the key. So you have the first turn it, you have accessory one, accessory two, and then start. So we, re we just replaced those. And we used all of the factory wiring I talked to a few guys and they do, everybody does a little bit differently. I know Mike Osborne up in Canada would just run a switch to the starter and that's how he'll actuate his once he turns the power on. And then a few other guys just get rid of all of the wiring completely in their race cars and they just run their own wires like Mike did. But what we did was we used all of the factory wiring for the ignition switch. So all we did was add two relays these guys here and they actuate uh, each of the stages so ignition clicks our first relay and then we have start that'll click the second one now we used all the factory wiring and we had a little bit of an issue when we first wired it up because we were looking at the wiring diagram for Mazda and turns out it was it was wrong so good job Mazda from the 80s you guys are just putting people in the wrong, wrong direction. So, I don't exactly remember which color wires were which, but if you guys want to do this, you can pull your ignition switch, and then on the side of it, it says in a label what every single wire is. So, the diagram that we used that was the correct one, you can look at that, and then you can you guys can hook up your your matching wires to that diagram. Let me find picture. So here is the picture. Um, I'm just gonna show it to you guys on my phone. I don't know if it's gonna work well or what, but here's what we got. Also, this will show you which wires are which and what all has to get connected. So for the accessory on, we connect the B and accessory wire, and then K1 and K2. When we switch it to the on position, it's B accessory ignition one, ignition two, and then when we start it, it's B ignition one and start. And then we have LE connected. And then we have K1 and K2. 
So this is the diagram that we use to hook up the whole, like do my whole setup. Hopefully this helps you guys. Richmond's currently at work, so he's busy doing that stuff. And he has not had time to come like shoot a video, proper video with me. But don't worry, we will get a proper like really go through, show you guys how we did everything, what tools you need, what relays you need. We'll get there. We just got to find time for Richmond and I both to sit down and film together. Uh, having full-time jobs suck when it comes to trying to do videos on YouTube. But everything works. Let's try this out now. Damn it. All right, I've got a drain somewhere in my car. I don't know where this drain is, but we have one that I gotta figure that out next because that sucks. Because when I wanna drive my car, I can't. So I'm not sure why it drains. All right, sorry YouTube. I can't start the rotary because that failed, but you guys heard it start earlier in the video, so that's good. I'll get some close up of the wiring for you guys and uh, we'll do the switch panel. Alright, so that's it for this short video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the FC content coming back. I hope a lot of you guys like it. I know we've been doing a lot to the S2000, but we did a lot of work on her in a weekend, so that's a bunch of videos, and now we're gonna have a little bit more SFC videos. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the push button start, about the arcade button being the starter button, and just about the car in general. We've got some new parts coming in for the FC. Next, we're gonna start doing, we're gonna redo all the bushings on the car. So we're gonna redo the uh, control arm bushings, the subframe bushings. We're gonna switch to Poly and Delrin and a lot of stuff. So that'll be the next couple videos probably. I think those parts are coming in this week, but we'll see, I've gotta double check. Look forward to that. Let me know what you guys think about the all the stuff in the comments. Remember to like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. In the next couple clips, there's going to be like a subscribe button down here, and there's gonna be two videos to watch right about here. I would love for you guys to subscribe. It'll mean a lot. Thank you guys for all the support, and we will be back soon with another Rotary video. Catch you all later. Bye.